hi guys you can see my excitement face our cargo just came and we just picked it up as in i'm so excited if you people see what is inside this cargo you will know what is exciting me <laughs> the cargo is huge when you say that our mothers outdid themselves that's what this cargo looks like so i'll be showing you the cargo we'll be unboxing together but before then let's see what the cargo looks like to the moon and back we had a love like that why do i feel like that slowly fading we used to be friends that was way back when you and i we were a slow burn guys let's get straight into the unboxing without us bringing the boxes inside i'm really excited to open it if you can tell from this one you already know what is inside she so you guys as i'm opening this thing let me even give you guys the gist of this cargo this cargo came from Lagos and all the things that were sent inside were from my mom and my mom-in-law but the cargo came actually from Lagos to Calgary and guess how many kg I'm going to be unboxing hey <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> although this is like the first cargo that I'm doing since we got here so when we came initially that was last year we brought food stuffs while we were coming and the food stuffs actually lasted us like we still have some of those food stuffs till now they have not finished so we just thought it wise that it makes sense to ship in food stuffs like we brought when we were coming and when we were coming here eh, if that food stuff could last us from that time till now it just makes sense to ship another one in like have it for a while also till next year so that's why we are doing this cargo so we we'll have food stuff till next year because really african stuff is expensive i'll give you a breakdown of how much this whole thing costs but then let's just keep unboxing so i've opened these pictures and they are our wedding frames that we have from nigeria do you want to see? Should I show you? Maybe you should look at the first one first. Ta da! <laughs> As in, Mr. Famapi. Because I really love these pictures. Like, they are really very, very nice. The photographer did an amazing job. So, they are not even pictures that I want to let go. Although, yes, I could have printed them here. But my mother decided that she does not want to have her pictures in her house. So she come and carry her property. So she sent it to us. And this is the second one. Shout out to Ultimate Shout out to Ultimate Oreo. Photography. Thank you for our pictures. Thank you for our frame. Oh, more. Wow. Everything has scattered. We used to be friends. That was way back when you and I we were a stubborn baby. Oh, we were young. So tonight, great fish. I have to clean them because the Luboy is all over. I think one bag of Elubo had poured everywhere. Like this is stock avi a jaggy bear catfish this is iru locust beans like the dry one no ah it's a lot my mother-in-law's and work 
see how plenty it is. This one will last us like a whole year. This is a good see. This is a lupo. As in, this is one of the lupos. I, I guess we, we are supposed to have two. But one has already poured all over the place. So I need to figure out a way to package this now because it's all over. Like it's everywhere inside this place. Hmm. My mother added granites. <laughs> There's actually granite here. And the granite is nice. But you know how you'll be gisting with your mom and then tell her, ah, that's Miss Nigeria granite so blah blah blah. My mother still added granite. We are done with this box. This is what was left. I couldn't salvage the rest, so it's better I just trash it. Hey. <laughs> ah, hmm. You guys. Let me give you a backstory to what I'm looking at inside this box. There's a story behind this thing that I brought. And I'm so excited. In fact, a story behind the two things that are inside this box. Now, the first one is Pamoy. It's not like there's no Pamoy here. There's Pamoy in Canada. But Pamoy is expensive. So, when we came to Canada, eh, we wanted to buy all these small, small things because we couldn't ship Pamoy when we were coming. We carried it, we freezed it. Like everybody had told us, you can carry it, you just freeze it and then you bubble wrap it the same way and put it inside your load. And then they won't know at the airport. That's how we got to the airport though. And then they scanned our bags and saw it and collected it. Thankfully, the person that took us to the airport, my husband's uncle, took it back home. But then we got here, we needed to cook with Pamoy. We went to African store to buy Pamoy. One small pasher liter. I think it was one liter or two liters. At the time, they said, it, I think it was $17. And then, you know, we just came in. So we don't have dollar. We are spending Naira. In my head, I've calculated how much $17 is to Naira on how many liters of palm oil. <laughs> Thank God that after we bought that one, we didn't even have to buy. So many people gifted us palm oil when, when we came in. And then, detergents. <laughs> so you see this detergent matter. Since we came here, all the detergents that we see, liquid soap and all, they don't foam. Yeah, that's because we are using them in the washing machine. But sometimes I want to soak my clothes. I use this soap and I don't, I, I, I think that the Nigerian in me still feels like if I don't use this Nigerian soap to soak my clothes, it's not going to be neat. Because oftentimes it's not even neat. It's not jokes. It's not neat. So I just told my mom that she should help me send soap so that this is strictly for soaking. My son will, as in at the time when he used to crawl, he will crawl and then the knee of his trouser will be so dirty. I will soak it with the soap and it will not still come off. So I'm like, whoa. I'm buying soap, I'm buying detergent. And uh, have I seen detergent in Africa? <laughs> I don't know if I've seen detergent. It's best that I came in with this cargo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys are still enjoying this video, Sha. Don't go anywhere. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Why you have not subscribed, bro? If you have not subscribed, this box is filled with clothes. As in, it's a whole full cloth of box. Let me give you another gist. People say I like this too much. Yes. So you see where we're coming in. Eh? In all of these groups, they'll say, don't bring clothes. Don't bring clothes. There are clothes here. And then we got here and then we discovered that we are, we are the clothes. Number one, I'm not saying there are no clothes. You can buy clothes, but they are not like Nigerian clothes. For me, eh? Almost all the clothes that we, we've had here, when you wash them once, maybe because we are washing a washing machine, you wash it once, you wash it twice, the clothes is already fading. And I've heard from my friend who said the same thing. Like, if you're in Canada and you know that when you wash clothes like this, the clothes is fading, please leave it the comment down in the comment section. Let us know ourselves 
the clothes fade and not only that they don't have fine clothes but they are not like you go to nigerian stores and buy clothes eh they are not sure fine so and then all of my clothes that i gave away at the time i was pinned because when they say i don't come with clothes people don't wear clothes especially native only for me to go to church and see that people wear native like they actually they'll tie daily to church i mean i've dashed out all my clothes i used to do as well now i've bought clothes i don't want to hear stories that touch me so i have to be wearing my nigerian brand because canadian brands i beg get that cb ah maybe i should do a nigerian clothing all i don't know what i will call that but my shipping clothing all because these clothes they are a lot i can't even open them not everything is for me some of them are for my husband my son and myself Basically, everybody has clothes here. Yes, see, Fila. As in, my husband came to thinking that, oh, I was the one telling him, I was like, ah, they say we should not bring it to. Everything, he left it. Attachment. And we have beads and you carry for my son. That is gonna do a photo shoot. You guys should just stay tuned. The first thing that caught my eye. My mother-in-law knows that I love Philippine. She sent me for it. If you want some, you can ask in the comment section. What's this? Okay, yeah. This Ogi. My mom did Ogi for us. I think she just said I'm going to pour it inside water and then it will come back to liquid, to the liquid form. I don't know, Sha. But when I call her, we we'll know what to do. That's okay. This is custard, the normal regular checkers custard. She just poured it for me because there's no point having it inside that big bowl. Oh, Morocco. Another granite. Another granite. This is Poundo. Pepper soup, spice, curry, and thyme. Everything inside. This is Maggie. I asked my mother to buy me a carton of Maggie. Do you know why? Maggie, yeah. One like this. Just this one sachet of no. This is not ordinary, not, not chicken. They don't allow chicken, so no ordinary is fine. Just this one like this in African store, I think it's like 10 to 12 dollars. When the old carton is buying one, although yes, the shipping cost and all of that, but for the long haul, it's just like it makes sense. I bought a whole carton. This is a whole carton. And this one will last me like a year plus, yes. Because when we came with, I think we came with like five. And that five lasted us till end of the year before i bought another one at the beginning of this year and the normal regular store maggie eh, he has this taste i don't understand that I, I don't think i like i shipped my maggie <clears throat> next box Gary, this is moi moi lilon. So you say, why did I not buy pan? I be what did they call it? All those bowls, moi moi bowls. I used to batch cook, and I have small pots. If I make moi moi, it will not be plenty. It will just last us maybe that day or that week. What's the point? And when I was coming the last time, I brought lilon, like plenty lilon. 
So I just felt it makes sense to buy Lylon. This Lylon will make me cook plenty, fill the pot. I'll be able to eat it for like two, three weeks. So, and it's not expensive in Nigeria. This one now is like how many dozens? This is like five dozens. One, two, three, four. Like she should have even bought more. Five dozens, but it's okay. Another fish. Another Gary. Beans. She has even put pepper to store it for us so that it doesn't um, have weevils. So, there's beans here, oh, but it's expensive. The last time that we bought beans, we brought beans from Nigeria when we were coming and it finished, I think, last year. So, when we bought, we bought this year. It was expensive. I think maybe five pounds was like $18. I don't know, I think so. These the beans that poured. So this one now, I have to pack the ones in the box. It's a whole lot. And this is the last box. So let me just quickly explain the whole cargo thing to you guys while I'm packing this beans. So how much did this cost? We had 125 kg. Yeah. <laughs> 125 kg. I didn't know it was going to be this much. Can you see the wood that my mother in law? Like, they, the two of them just bought stuff that they knew, okay, it will last us for a very long time and we wouldn't have to worry. So, 125 kg is what we ship the total of everything. And each kg costs 2,600. Do the math yourself. So, 2,600 per kg, 125 kg. And when you get to Calgary, we paid shipping. We paid shipping fee. Per kg is one dollar fifty cent, so that's in Canadian dollars. So per kg we pay that, and we got our stuffs. So we shipped it eleventh of April, and we got it. Today is what? Today is twenty eighth of April. It came in seventeen days. So we're told that if it was supposed to come earlier, because I was thinking it should come earlier. We are told if it was supposed to come earlier, it was going to be much more expensive. So, Isha came. That's the cocoa. And they were actually nice. They wanted to bring it. They wanted to bring and deliver for us. But a lot happened. We shall pick it by ourselves. But aside from the fact that the elubo and the beans poured, which is normal, we are and Tia handling it from the shipment. Everything seems seamless. Like, it's okay. And they have a ship cargo so in case you want to do a ship cargo a ship cargo comes like it will take like two to three months to get to calgary but it will save you much more because like us now it's not because there are some clothes that we want to actually use on time we just say okay let's just ship everything at once we would have preferred to do a ship cargo ship cargo is cheaper you get much more space to even put more things you can put more things if you want here yeah, but the more you add, the more kg you have, the more your money. So it's better to use ship cargo. I think ship cargo costs like 500 per kg. So it's way cheaper than 2,600 per kg. I'll put your details in the description box and you can reach out to them. Going forward, Seth, even we will be using sea cargo and then we'll ship with air for the perishable items. But overall, all in all, if you look at this whole thing, for us, we weighed our options. We discovered that bringing in those food makes more sense than actually having them bought here. Because we don't eat Canadian food. We have not reached that Canadian level. <laughs> we mostly eat Nigerian food. And if we are buying them every now and then from the African store, it will cost us more. So there are also some things you cannot ship for, like medication. That one was something that I didn't like. My mom wanted to send us some drugs and we were unable to ship that. And there are just some there are lots of things that you can't ship. You can't ship momo. You cannot ship fake jewelry, fake products, cream, body cream. Anyway, just reach out to them. Whatever thing you want to ship and you think they will not agree, ask them. I don't know. 
and they will attend to you. If you know somebody that is coming to Canada soon, or somebody that is already here and needs cargo, or you think that somebody will need this video very soon, please save it, send it to them, share with your friends, your family that you think will need cargo coming to Canada. And if you think that I've wasted my money, maybe you think that, ah, why did I ship this much? I should have just bought here. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. I came last year. I could as well learn from you. Maybe there are better ways to do this and I'm not doing it the right way. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you want a clothing haul, I just got this clothes from Nigeria. My sister made almost everything. My husband's clothes was not made by my sister. But my sister made almost all the clothes for myself. She even made, I think, some clothes for my son. So if you want to see a clothing haul, please drop your comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time. And if you want to enjoy my food with me, you can reach me in the comment section. We we'll share this food together. It's not a promise, so I beg. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.